105 ACP. It's a single action, weak coil operated magazine thread. What's up everybody, this is the Mad Swede and today I want to talk about something called Trigger Reset. A Trigger Reset is something that can be found on almost every type of firearms. But how does it work? What does it do? Well, as the name reveals, the Trigger Resets itself. I wish I had some time at the range to show this up close. But unfortunately I haven't, so I'm gonna have to do it here in my garage. And for that I'm gonna be using my Loyal Beast, my Concealed Carry Pistol, the Springfield XD, subcompact, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. As you can see, I already removed my magazine, and all I need to do now is to make sure my chamber is empty, so it's safe to uh, demonstrate. Remember, finger outside the trigger guard at all times. I mention this over and over again. The chamber is empty. It's safe to demonstrate. So what happens is everyone knows what a trigger is. Everyone knows where the trigger is located. Everyone knows what a trigger does. Inside here, the trigger house, we have something called a trigger bar. The trigger bar is connected to something that's called a sear. The trigger, trigger bar and the sear, they're all part of the trigger mechanism. So what happens is, when you're at the range or the competition, you slam a magazine in your firearm, you rack around in the chamber, the sear has now made contact with either the striker or the hammer. Since my XD does not have a hammer, it's a striker fired pistol, the sear has now made contact with uh, the striker. You put your pistol on target, squeeze the trigger, and shot goes off. Pistol cycles, pistol goes back into battery. And you begin your trigger return travel. Observe what happens. Did you hear that? The click. The sear has now made contact with my striker. Once again, the trigger has therefore reset itself and the pistol can be fired again. Boom. Pistol cycles. Pistol goes back into battery. You let go of the trigger, click, trigger reset, the sear has once again made contact with the striker, break another shot, pistol recycles, over and over again. This repeats itself until you spent your entire magazine. The benefits of learning proper trigger reset comes with a lot of things. First and foremost, it eliminates unnecessary movement of your trigger finger. Unnecessary movement equals time. If you're at a competition or, God forbid, you find yourself in a real life and death situation, time is extremely important. You break the shot, gun cycles, Gun resets. It also makes you more accurate. Because what happens is, if you completely let go of the trigger, I see this almost every time I go to the range. People break the shot, boom, gun recycles. People completely let go of the trigger, boom, like so. So what happens is, for their follow up shots, they slam their finger on the trigger shoe, which makes the gun jerk go either sideways or down, downwards. By knowing your pistol's reset point, 
you don't have to take your finger off the trigger for your follow-up shot. That's all you need. Makes you more accurate, you eliminate unnecessary movement, and you also don't have to waste time on realigning your sight picture. Every firearm is different. On this, my Springfield, the trigger, trigger travel and the reset point is fairly short. On my model 1911, my classic, that's a different story. It's like you, uh, you're you used to driving a Toyota Prius and all of a sudden you feel like you want to upgrade to an SUV. Okay. You're you're now behind the wheel of a completely different motor vehicle and therefore you need to figure out where the corners are on that car, on that SUV. Same thing goes with firearms. If you have been shooting Glocks, let's just say, and all of a sudden you decide to, uh, you want to buy a 1911, you want to feel old school. Now you're going to have to figure out where the reset point on your new, new 1911 is. Because 1911 is usually way bigger pistol of wind, sometimes a longer trigger time, uh, travel. So you need to figure that out. Boom, shot goes off. Gun cycles, gun goes back into battery. Now it's time to figure this out. Where is it? click. You can always hear it, the click. Sometimes it's just way too loud. So with that said, you can actually feel it. You can feel the trigger is setting. You can feel it in your finger, in your fingertip. That's what you need to learn. You need to both listen to it and you need to feel for it. Once you learn that, I guarantee you, you will be you will become way more accurate on target by knowing proper trigger reset. Gosh, I'm fresh out of things to talk about today, so yeah, I'll I'll figure something else out. I'll find something else to talk about next time. So there you go, trigger reset, highly important, important stuff. This is the Mad Swede. Be safe. Be nice and I see you at the range.